Prices have never been better. We never really got to say thank you, Hallowed. You stood beside us at Ralka, saw our parents, saw our past. Thank you for your guidance and friendship. It means a great deal to us. But then, enough about the past. Kali has already laughed at my attempts to write down what happened. We have much more dangerous, immediate threats ahead of us. Kali has been chomping at the bit. She has grown tired of these Dromatra and hungers for bigger game. We hunt the Dark Mane, who has taken root deep within Moonmount. His legions have boiled up from below, killed most of the monks. And the beacons that mark the site as holy ground are grown dark. They fuel a ward lock upon the temple door. Take this prayer to the bright moons. We must go to the beacons, the large pillars around the temple. There we pray. We cleanse the beacons and drive away this darkness. Hallowed, I know together we can see this done. What do you say? We'll meet you at the beacons. See you there, Hallowed. Hallowed, this one is glad you are here. This beacon has an intensity to its corruption. It is teeming with the energies of the Dromatra. Shazam must perform the purification. You are powerful, my friend. But Shazam has long experience dealing with the dark energies here. She must be the one to dispel them. Besides, the ritual will no doubt draw attention. You must protect Shazam as she works. They come for the beacon! Thank you, Hallowed. I shall meet you at the temple entrance.
wanted to be sure you were well protected. Go ahead, Harold. Nice work. See you at the temple door. With the beacons cleansed, this ward is just an annoyance. Shazai is preparing to crack it wide open. You've already done your part here, Helod. Let's just stand back and let her do her thing. What happened? <sighs> that thing was stronger than it looked. I'll be fine. Let's get inside. Hallowed. Another barrier. Shaza can crack it. Dark Lords. This one is even stronger than the one outside. Moon Month should be the heart of Lunar Light in Reaper's March. Instead, we are surrounded by darkness. Tharn and the Dark Mane dare to tread on temple ground. 
blasphemies against the Two Moons dance, and corruption crawls the walls in Moonmon's inner chamber. The Dark Main's residue has twisted the altars to Masur and Secunda. It crawls from between the bricks, stretching and clinging to any ray of light. The darkness of the Dromathra reaches from where they dwell beyond, snuffing out all it touches. Ah, yes. Each of the three altars is normally aligned to one of the lunar phases. Simply refocus their light, throw back the darkness, and reclaim... <clears throat> that should allow you to pass through the door. In times of old, the carvings and adornments upon the walls would sing of the dance. Precious stones inlaid upon intricate plaques would speak to Masur and Secunda. Time has not been kind to these adornments, but still, they may speak to you. are aligned, the darkness thrown back. Destroy the barrier, Shazar! Let's see this done. Right behind you, sister. Where is he? I don't know. He should be in here. You're mine now, champions! Kali, watch out! What? See the light of the dance reflected in your eyes. Joan and Joan smile down upon you now. They are with you at this difficult hour. You must choose. With you are two modes in the darkness. Kali and Shaza are the lunar champions, truly. One will go on to shine as brightly as Joan and Joad. The other will twist and rot and wither here in the corruption below Moonmont. You are the Moon Hollow. It is your destiny to make this choice. One will leave with you and walk the Two Moons' path. They will become the next main. The other will hold the Dark Main in place here and dwell forever in darkness. Riddhar will tell you what he can, but know that this choice is yours. You must choose with your heart and your mind and your soul. You say it truly. She will remain here, a prisoner in darkness. Only through the strength of her heart, the wisdom of her mind, can the evil that is the Dark Main be contained. You have seen for yourself, Moon Hallowed. The devastation at Fort Grimwatch. That is what is possible for a Dark Main fully in control of their host. When the host and the darkness are one, the darkness is terrifying. The Dark Main is a creature of darkness, a being from beyond the stars. The only way he could be truly destroyed is to face him in one of those places beyond. 
But here, now, one of the champions can hold him. Make the world safe from his evil. No, Halod. This must be your decision. Speak to the champions if you need to. Hear what they have to say before you decide. This must be your decision, alone. Halod, Shazak cannot contain this darkness. She does not have the strength. Choose me to take on this burden. Ask me any questions you need to. Let's get this whole thing over with. I would lead with a firm hand and a brave heart, just as Mother taught me all those years ago. Father was ever speaking about the brilliance of Shaza's spellcasting. Once, she cast a spell, and the whole sky lit ablaze. They were so proud of her. I'm sure they'd want her to be main, to lead our people. Hallowed, Kali is not prepared for what's required here. Choose me to contain the Dark Mane. Of course, Hallowed. I will answer any questions I can to make your decision easier. I would... I would try to lead with wisdom, as the monks taught us, as I learned from my father. Mother was always so proud of Kali's blade work. She used to have her demonstrate for the other children. I'm sure they would want Kali to be the next main. She is far stronger, braver than I am. She's a better leader, and a proud warrior. Absolutely. Kali would make a far better main. Her strength and resolve would serve her well. Shaza is well acquainted with the darkness of the Dromatra. She knows what must be done. I can do this. This is my responsibility. Take Kali and leave this place. Hallowed, she should be the next main. I am just a scribe who was born on a particular day at a particular time. I do not deserve to be main. Sister, please, reconsider. This is the way it must be. Sister, do not weep for me. This creature is now contained. Leave this place, sister. Javadar will pay for what is done to my sister. I swear it. Once be damned, I will get my sister back. I don't care what the moldering old ghost says. I'll walk the path with you. Cut Tharn's throat and come back with an army of mages to free Shaza from this torment. Why did she force me into this? <sighs> I suppose there's nothing else for it. We have to make for doing. Walk the two of moon's path, of course. It's been my destiny since I was a cub. I know that now. We walk the path, I become main. Then, we get my sister back.
I'm just sitting here. The Clan Mother Shizura sent you. Go away. I've had it. Clan Mother Shizura, she can sit in the fields and rot for all I care. Tezia may be able to deal with all this work. Samusa cannot! Sorry, sorry. I thought you were supposed to find me. Clan Mother Shizura has run us ragged for weeks. No wonder Rakad quit. Her last assistant had the right idea. Sure, that sounds like a great idea. If you want to try, Clan Mother Shizura talks to the little people in the biggest house in town. Just let no one say Samosa didn't warn you. Don't worry about Kalari. Just mulling what she should do next. I was here first. No, you weren't. This one was here long before you. Shazura will hear your problem, but you must wait your turn. Do you not see all these people before you? Tasia sent you? Or Zalza? For what purpose? What have those lazy attendants done? Nothing has gone right since Rakad, but never mind. What do you mean? Hmm, perhaps. Lately, a few of our clanmates have been on my doorstep day and night. If you were to investigate, Shazura could get some real work done. Excellent. My three loudest kittens are Milk Eyes, Ezag, and Kalari. The clan knows Milk Eyes as a crotchety blind man, but really, he's a sweet old cat. Rats now live in his well, he says. Shizura is very fond, truth be told, and she does not want him hunting rats in the dark. Ezag is always complaining about something. This week, he says someone is stealing his crops. Shazura thinks it is the local children playing jokes, but he is sure bandits stalk his fields. Poor little Kalari. Of late, she's had bright moons and dark both. Her uncle passed away, but left her his old house. She tried to move in, and now swears the place is haunted. And which of my sad little kittens will you lift from the sand? You'll find his farm southeast of town. Shazura is sure there's nothing to that fat old Khajiit's whining. Your kindness may quiet him down, though, and she thanks you for that. Shazura is sure it will turn out to be nothing, but Ezag must always get his way. Luck to you. What does she not do? Shazura is the clan mother of Srenja. Arbiter of disputes, leader in rituals venerating the Two Moons Dance, eldest of the women in the village. Ta! Rakad was my assistant for many years, made himself invaluable. 
Then Shizura finds he has been in contact with the smugglers and skooma dealers from Pa'alat. Shazura confronted Rakat about his dark dealings. He laughed, said she had become a feeble old cat. She showed him. Had Rakad run out of town, now no one doubts who runs Srenja. There is not much to tell, my new assistant. We are a sleepy town, yes? We trade with Willow Grove, try to keep the men from going to Palat or Hadron's caravan, and the merchants make trips to Dune when we need much. supplies. No, you weren't. This one was here long before you. <laughs> 